Good evening, Cindy. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? Good. Good. Do you work on the platform? Yes. Yes? How far did you go on the platform? Um, I think one point seven. One point seven. So I you can do knowledge check one point nine. Let me show you. Okay, so you can do requests with models. That's what we saw yesterday in using Would You Mind. So you can do the knowledge check 1.9 and the reading exercise. I'm going to give a quick review of this and the reading exercise, okay? Okay. So you will be ready. After the night class? Yeah, so you will be ready oh, to do the knowledge check 1.9 and the reading exercise. So with that, we finish section one, okay? And if we have okay. a chance, we're gonna start section number two, okay? Okay, okay very good. I wonder where the others are. Uh, it's a little bit early. Early. Yeah, four minutes. Wait. Well, I have one minute to eight. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. One minute. Which to one eight. is not working? So how was the cafeteria? Did you see the today? moon yesterday? I'm sorry? Did you see the moon yesterday? The moon? No, I didn't see it last night. Last night. No, I didn't last see night. it. I didn't oh. have a chance. Why? What happened? Really, really beautiful. Really? Full moon? Yeah, full moon, and it was like, um, I don't know how you say, uh, claro. Okay, uh, light. It was very bright. Yeah. Okay. When I went to work three, 
3.30 a.m. It was like uh, 6 a.m. <laughs> it it was, looks like the moon was it still there. 6 and the moon was yeah. still there. Okay. Good evening, Alex. How are you today? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thanks, and you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day today? Busy. Okay. Uh, now, listen, I sent to the group, I sent uh, the material that we are working with, but I don't know. I don't know if you are going to be able to download it, but I don't know. Let me let me check. Last time I checked. Let me see. I cannot download. You can? Oh yeah, you can download it now. Now you can download it. You have to build Winsit. Yeah, but you need a Win Win WinRAR. WinRAR. Yeah. Yeah. To download it, okay? But it is, but you can do it. Yeah, they went through. Yeah, I have it right here. I I'm opening right now. Okay, so anyway, okay, find a way to, well, find a way, okay? That's the best I can do. Good evening, uh, Guadalupe, how are you tonight? Good evening, teacher, I'm okay. Thank you. Okay, very good. Alexandra, how are you tonight? Hi, teacher. I'm okay. okay. What about you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Okay, very good. Yes, yeah. hey. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you tonight? Uh, hey. Great, uh, teacher. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Here, ready to, to start. Okay, so let's start. Okay, yes, let's, uh, let's get started. Yes, right, teacher. Okay, very good. So I'm going to go here. Teacher, excuse me, I, I can open the, the file. Because it asks you for a. Okay, yeah, it asks you for a password. I don't have the password. So ah, okay. I don't know how to. I can give it to you, <coughs> not send it. I can give it to you. You sure, but I don't need a password. Really? What What do you do? Only open the, the WinRAR and select ah, the but file. You need to have the WinRAR installed, right? Yeah, on my phone. Okay, so. Go ahead and uh, oh, uh, install WinRAR in your computer and you will be able to download it, okay? Hello? Okay, do you hear me? Yes. Okay, uh, everyone, I send uh, uh, the material that we are using, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you sending? I already send it. Oh, okay. But no, it's that the we can open. Yeah, but install WinRAR. Okay, I send uh, a couple of files, but you need WinRAR to open it because it's compress right the and second one it, has a has a password there is one yeah, with password what you need to do what you need to do is 
install Israel. Install the program so you can uh, uh, decompress. Okay. Teacher, can, 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 we do, can we do that later after class? Because I think it takes uh, it takes um, no some problem. minutes. Yeah, I will suggest that, okay? Install Wizard and open those files. Okay, install Wizard and open those files, okay? But not tonight, okay? For tonight, for tonight, I, I have, uh, I already have what we are going to do. Okay. So. Okay, so for tonight we have this, okay? You remember that we stopped right here, right? Can you see the screen? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay, so apologies. Think of three complaints you have about your neighbors and write requests that you want about the garbage, the gas, the noise, the parking, the pests, the security. Okay, now different ways to apologize. I'm sorry. I didn't realize if I, if what I'm doing is giving an excuse, okay? Now, if I want to admit a mistake, I'm gonna use, I forgot, I left it there. If I'm going to make an offer, I will use, I'll take it out right now because I'm offering to do it right now. And to make a promise, I promise I'll, and you promise, and here you place the promise. I'll make sure to, and here you place the promise, okay? So, here, take turns right here. Okay, so that was that was on the textbook. Now here, I don't know if you did this with me. Did you do this with me? Persuasion strategies? Hello? Yes, we did. We did, did it. read it yesterday. Okay, we did it yesterday. Okay, very good. Now here, I think this was the homework, right? Would you lend me some money? Oh, sure. Okay, what was number two? Would you mind helping me? Sorry, I can't right now. Sorry, I can't right now. By the way, you're sitting in my seat. What was the answer? What was the response? Excuse me, I didn't realize. Okay, excuse mm -hmm. me, I didn't realize. Would you like to come in? All right, oh, thanks. thanks. All right, right thanks. Now, would you mind not taking all the coffee? I'm sorry, I'll make some more. I'm sorry, I'll make some more, very good. And can you turn the radio off? No problem. No problem. Okay, very good. So let's repeat after me. Could you lend me some money? Could you lend me some money? Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Would you mind helping me? Would you mind helping me? Uh, sorry, I can't right now. Sorry, I can't right now. By the way, you're sitting in my seat. By the way, you're sitting in my seat. Uh, excuse me, I didn't realize. Excuse me, I didn't realize. Would you like to come in? Would you like to come in? All right, thanks. All right, thanks. All right, thanks. All right, thanks. Okay, would you mind not taking all the coffee? Would you mind not taking all the coffee? I'm sorry, I'll make some more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, make I'm sorry. I'll make some more. I'll make some more. Can you turn the radio up? Can you Can turn you the radio up? No problem. No problem. No problem. problem. Okay, no and problem. here we have some complaints. And we can use apologize and either give an excuse, admit a mistake, make an offer, or make a promise. You remember? 
using these expressions. Give an excuse, admit a mistake, make an offer, or make a promise. Okay, so number one, this steak is very tough. I can eat it. So the waiter say, oh, I'm sorry, I'll get you another one. Let's see number two. You're late. I've been waiting for you for half an hour. So what is the, how can you apologize? Uh, teacher, excuse me. Can I have a minute? Someone, someone is waiting for me outside. Excuse me one second. Okay, go ahead. In, in case you ask me one question. Okay, thank you. Okay, so you're late. And you've been waiting for, and I've been waiting for you for half an hour. So what are you going to say? I'm sorry, I didn't realize. I didn't realize, okay, very good, sorry. I didn't realize that it was late. Okay, very good. Number two, number three, could you turn the television down? I'm trying to study and the, night, and the noise is bothering me. So what can you say? I'll do it right now. Okay, I'll do it right now. I'll make sure to turn it down. I'll make sure to turn it down. Okay, very good. So I'll make sure to turn it down. Now, the father, you didn't make the letters this morning. So what are you going to say? I'm sorry, I forgot. I left it. I left them there. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I forgot. I left the letters there. Okay, that is good. Okay, very good. Now, the next one is, I brought this laptop in for repair last week, but it's still not working right. What you gonna say? Hello, so what are you going to say? I'll make sure I'll make sure to fix, to fix it, it for you. I'll make sure to fix it or I'll make sure to make it function for you, okay? To make Good. it work. To make it work. Now, the next one. Will you do something about your dog? It barks all night and keeps me awake. So what would you say? Difficult. Mm. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I didn't realize how much noise it uh, makes. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I'm sorry. Good. I didn't realize how much noise it makes. Okay? Right. Now. Number seven, would you mind moving your car? You're parked in my parking space. Yes, I will move it. Uh-huh, I'll, yeah, I'll take it out right now, right? I'll move it right now. <laughs> okay, very good. And the last one, please put away your papers. You left them on your desk yesterday. Yes, I I'll take it promise. out. I promise I'll move them right now. Right okay, away. I promise I'll move them. I forgot I left them there. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that I left them there. Okay, so there are a few ways. So, okay, so you go ahead and do them, do them again. Okay, take your time. Now, but I want you, I need you to take a picture. And I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it smaller so you so they can fit. Okay, there you go. Take a picture so you can do them, okay? Okay. Marico. Take a picture. Did you take a picture? Yes, yes. Did you take a picture? 
Yes. Yes? Okay, yes. very good, very good. Now, here, choose the correct words here. Throw those empty bottles away. So put them in the living room, in the refrigerator, or in the recycling bin. Recycling. The recycling bin. Recycling in the recycling bin. bin. Very good. Would you mind picking up some dry cleaning, groceries, towels? We need coffee, milk, and rice. Groceries. Uh, groceries. Okay. okay. Would you mind picking up oh. some groceries? Very good. Okay. The next one. Turn the faucet, the oven, or the stereo off. Water costs money. So the faucet. faucet. The faucet is la llave, okay, del, del lavadero. Oh. Okay, my neighbor, okay. my neighbor made a mistake, request or promise. He said, I'll be sure to stop my dog from barking. A promise. Uh-huh, my, my neighbor made a promise. Prom promise. Okay. <laughs> Now here, match the words and phrases in columns A and B. So pick up some milk. Not mm -hmm. criticize. My friends. Okay, not criticize my friends. Next, mail. Mail these letters. These letters. Mail these, these letters. letters, right? Mail these letters. Maybe here, I think I can go bigger. Mail these letters. No, not talk. So loud. So, so loud. So loud. So loud. Not talk so loud. Don't talk. Not talk. Okay, not talk so loud. Very good. The next one. Put away. Put away. DVDs. Put away the DVDs. Yes. Put away the DVDs. Okay, very good. The next one, take off. Your sunglasses. Your sunglasses. Take off your sunglasses. Okay, very good. Turn down. They open. open. You open. No. No. Oh, yeah. Turn down. Turn up your bedroom. No. 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 Turn down. The, 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 that will be uh, clean up your bedroom. Clean up your bedroom. Turn down the oven. That's the only one left. Turn down the oven. Maybe turn down the oven. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Now that you have done that, okay, I need you to do this. Okay. Write requests using these phrases, okay? And this is going to be homework. Okay. Okay, so please, I want you to do request. Would you mind picking up some milk? Uh, remember, you can use could, would, can, or would you mind? So you can use either one. Okay, so take a picture, so you can make the request, please. Take a picture. Did you take a picture? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. Someone sent to the group what? This page? Mm, the picture in WhatsApp group. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, very good. Now, let's move ahead. Oh, yeah, right here. So you can see here's the book. Look, this is the book. So they have sent it. Can you see it? This is the book. This is the book, and this is the workbook. Okay. Let, let me show you.
Can you see? And this is the book. This is the textbook and this is the workbook. So if you download it, you will find the pages. So these pages are... So these pages are on... Okay, what we're going to do right now is right here on page 41. Can you see it? Page 41. Let me show you. Qué bonita la canela. Page 41. <laughs> Qué bonito. Todo destruido. Okay. And on the workbook, on the workbook is page 36. Okay. Page 36. And this one, page 35. Okay. So workbook, page 35, 36. And the textbook, page 41. Okay. Now. Let's go to the textbook. Okay, now here, very easy. Okay, I'm gonna read for you. Neighbor versus neighbor, okay? Teacher, your skin is frozen. I don't see the WhatsApp. Go on, I see the WhatsApp, yeah. Okay, very Thanks. good, so this is the reading, neighbor versus neighbor. Read the situation in the list below. What would you do in each situation? The woman in the apartment upstairs plays her piano after midnight. The family across the street never cleans up their yard. The garbage blows into your yard. The guy next door always parks his car in front of your driveway. Questions. Do you understand each situation? What do you say? Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. Now, have things like this ever happened to you? If so, you may. Ask yourself, who are these people? Why are they doing these things to me? Okay. These days, many people don't know their neighbors. Sometimes we share a friendly wave or say hello. But a lot of people don't even know their neighbors' names. When you don't know someone, it's easy to build up frustration and resentment. You think maybe they like to annoy me, or maybe they do it deliberately. Believe it or not, your neighbors probably don't mean to irritate you. Often, they don't even know that they're getting on your nerves. So before you take extreme measures to fix the problem, you should discuss it with them first. When you approach your neighbors, you should talk to them in a friendly manner. Compliment their children or do something else to make them feel good. Then explain the situation. And if you can think of a simple solution, suggest it. If talking doesn't work, ask another person to help. This person can listen to both sides of the story and help you and your neighbor resolve the situation. Finally, sometimes it's a good idea to avoid the problem. Depending on the issue, it might be best to just stay out of your neighbor's way. Questions? Questions? No questions. No. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, now please. Uh, take a picture. Take a picture of the reading, please. 
Take a picture of the article. And send it to the group, please. Okay, did you do it? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, now. Now, look. <laughs> okay, somebody's, somebody's making a lot of noise in the room. Can you fix the problem, please? Okay, thank you. Okay, now let's continue. So read the article and find the words in italics in the article. Then match each word with its meaning. Do you know what is resentment? Resentimiento. Yeah, but what is the definition? Yeah. A, B, C, Anger. E, F. Okay. An anger that grows over time. Okay, so resentment is anger that grows over time. Deliberately. On purpose. On purpose. On purpose. Yes. Okay, very good. Irritate. Irritate, bother or annoy. Or annoy. Bother or annoy. Very annoy. good. Measure. A way of, be a way of behaving. A step taken. No. A step taken no. in order to achieve uh, something. A step taken in order to achieve oh. something. Okay, manner. A way of, a way of, a way of behaving. A way of behaving. And result. And a problem. And a problem, and a problem, or, problem or, or difficulty. And a problem or difficulty. Okay, so very good. So right, right here, okay? I don't know what you're gonna do, okay? But uh, match, okay? What is resentment? Anger that grows over time? Deliberately, on purpose? Irritate, bother, or annoy? Measure? A step taken in order to achieve something? Manner? a way of behaving and resolve in a problem or difficulty. Now, check the questions that the article answers. Then find sentences in the article that supports your answer. Why don't many people know their neighbors? Why many people don't know their neighbors? They don't know their neighbor's names. Uh-huh, but why? Why? Because they don't have time, they have to work. Okay, probably <laughs> they don't. Yeah. Okay, probably they are busy. They are too busy or they don't want to talk. Why do we become angry at neighbors? Because they do we things. We don't know the other people. Because maybe they do things deliberately. Or we think they do things to irritate you. Okay. Because you might think it's not that they do it. Okay. What are some extreme measures you can? take to solve a problem? Call the police. Uh-huh. To call the police could be an extreme measure. Extreme measure, yeah, call the police. Call the mafia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that would be very extreme. Okay, now. Yeah. Uh, Maybe if you talk to them, that will help you resolve the situation. But if that doesn't solve the situation, finally, it's a good idea to avoid the problem. Depending on the issue, it, 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 it probably is best just to, say, to stay out of your neighbor's way, right? Ignore him or her. 
Yeah. Okay. What can you do when discussion doesn't work? What can you do when discussion doesn't work? You can contact somebody else so they can hear both sides and propose the solution. Okay, that is one way. Or finally, sometimes it's a good idea to avoid the problem again, right? And forget about it, you know? I'm not gonna solve anything, so I better leave, I better run, okay? Now, good guys, now remember, with this, you can do, and let me show you. With this, can you see my screen? Yes. Can you see yes. the platform? Yes. Okay, now I said that you can do knowledge check 1.4. Remember about two par verbs, pick up, uh, clean up, you remember, turn down. Okay, yes. so you can do this knowledge check, okay, on the platform. You can also do knowledge check about request with model. You remember can, could, would, and would you mind? So you can do the knowledge check 1.9. And you can also do the reading exercise, neighbor versus neighbor. Okay, so you can do this because we have already finished. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, very good. And now we are going to get to section number two, okay, which is infinitive and wrong. Okay, so let me share. Okay, so I, this is what I have right here, okay? <clears throat> and now that you have this text, you can also do this on your own, okay? You can do your, this on your own, all these exercises. So now, what's this for? So what's this for? What is the microwave oven for? What is the use of the microwave? Eating food. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. The microwave is used for eating, eating food. Okay. Now, what the te what is the telephone for? What's the telephone answering machine for? Make calls. Uh -huh. calls. Is to for making calls. Is to answering calls. To answer calls when you are not there. Very good. What is a pocket calculator used for? Calculate. It is used to calculate. What is a video game used for? To play, to play video games. To play video games. Ah, now I can see happy faces when I say video games, huh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What is a VCR used for? It was used to watch movies. To watch movies. But just to what watch movies. So well, now music. people don't use this, right? Too, too much. But what was this used for? To listen to music. Listen to the radio. Uh -huh. They are used to listen to music, right? Listen to the radio. What is a cell phone used for? Look at this cell phone. They used to call him the brick. <laughs> you remember? Yeah. Okay. yeah. What are cell phones used for? To make and receive calls. To make and receive calls. Very good. What is the World Wide Web is it called or for? Speaking with other people. To navigate over the internet. Uh -huh. To connect with the internet, right? Okay. Circle the things that you use every day or almost every day. What are the things that you use every day? Cell phone. World Wide Web. Cell phone. Cell phone. And be honest, video games. 
PCR, okay? Be honest. Which invention do you think is the most important? Which of all these invention do you think is the most important? The cell phone. Okay, the cell phone. Which is the least important for you? Walkman. Um, uh, Walkman. I think the most important is the World Wide Web. Okay, whatever. Now, what are some other things you use every day? What are some computer. other things that you use every day? Can you tell me. The computer. The computer. Laptop. What else? Microwave. Tablet. The tablet. What about the car? The car. The car. Or, yes. or the bus. Or the bus. The fridge. Okay, very good. Now, perspective. Computer usage. How do you use your computer? Or how would you use a computer if you had one? Listen and respond, okay? I use or I will use a computer to send and receive emails often, sometimes, hardly ever or never. To send and receive emails. Hardly ever. Often. Often, right? Okay, very good, often. Okay, again, next. Uh, Okay, next. How do you uh, I use the computer the computer to pay bills for paying bills? Often. Sometimes. 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 Okay, I use the computer to okay. play games. Often, often, I use the computer to find information on the web. Always, often, often. Okay. I use a computer for doing school assignments. Often, often, I use the computer to learn languages. Always. 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 I use the computer for writing letters. Never. Um, hardly ever. Hardly ever. I use the computer to check the weather. The 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 Never. Eta Never. And Dota. Often. 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 I use uh, the computer to read the news. Never. Well, no, hardly ever. Never. <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> I use the computer for downloading music. Sometimes. 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 Now, take a look. Okay. Okay, now take a look. Come on. Okay. So. When I say I use the computer, remember that we say that we were going to work with infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Purposes, objectives, okay? Now, I say I use a computer to send and receive emails. I use a computer and you see here, I use infinitive, two plus send. But I use a computer for paying bills. So I use four plus your own. Okay. okay, so I use infinitives infinitives is two plus verb two plus verb and your own are verb plus ing verb plus ing so if i use your own i'm going to use four four so again can you see it right here i use a computer 
to send and receive emails. I use a computer to play games. I use a computer to find information on the web. I use a computer to learn languages. I use a computer to check the weather. And I use the computer to read the news. Also, I can say I use a computer for sending and receiving emails. I, okay, I use a computer for paying bills. I can also say I use a computer for playing games. Is that clear? So I can use two plus the base form, or I can use four plus your own. That's what it says right here. Infinitive in your own. Please turn off the, the microphone, please. Okay. For a minute, okay. If you are making too much noise where you are, so have it off for a minute because it is annoying, okay? So infinitives and your own for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. Computers are often used to pay bills. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. Now, do you have any question? No, I have a question. Okay, what do you know about this technology? Complete the phrases in column A with phrases in column B. Now, remember that you can use infinitives using two plus the verb, or you can use your own using four plus the verb with ing. So satellites are used are used to to study the worst the weather. Worst weather. Or satellites are used for studying the worst weather. Okay, so you can use it with both. Is that clear? Use it with clear. two plus base form or four with gerunds. ING. Now, number two, robots are sometimes used to perform dangerous to tasks. Perform dangerous. Uh -huh, to perform dangerous tasks. Or robots are sometimes used for performing, for performing dangerous, dangerous, tasks. dangerous tasks. Very good. Now, you can use a cell phone to send to send text messages text messages or you can use a cell phone for sending text messages that is correct very good very good now people use the internet to read the latest weather report uh -huh, to read the latest weather report or for reading, reading the latest weather report. Okay, now DNA fingerprinting. Do you know what is fingerprinting? Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 DNA fingerprinting is used. Yes. To identify, identify. 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 criminals. Or identifying criminals or to identify for identifying okay. criminals. Okay, CD-ROM is used, uh, or CD-ROMs are used for use to store an encyclopedia. Store an encyclopedia. An encyclopedia. 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 Okay, very good. Now, uh, 
I want you, I'm gonna put you in pairs. So you can uh, say to each other, what are all these things used for? Now you can use four plus gerund or two plus base form. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Let me see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Seven groups, exactly. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Okay, Jordana and Maria Narstina, room number one. Karen and Maria Jose, room number two. Guadalupe and Ivan, room number three. Alexandra and Mario, room number four. Guille and Lily, room number five. Uh, Alex and Eleonora in room number six. And Cindy and I don't know who is Dinamica. Okay, Eleonora, go to room number six, please. Guille, go to room number five, please. Mario, go to room number four, please. Mario Marenko, go to room number four. Eleonora, go to room number six, please, Eleonora. Eleonora, go to room number six, please. Are you there? Turn on your microphone, Eleonora. Eleonora, go to room number six. Okay, uh, Alex. Yes. We are going to work together. Do you have the? Do you have this the the text? Yeah, the, the last one. Yeah, this one. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, okay. I have it. Okay, so tell me, satellites complete, right? Are, satellites are used to study to study the worst weather. Okay, to study. To study. To study the worst weather. Or uh -huh. satellites are used for studying okay. the worst weather. Okay. okay, now you are going to tell me both. Is that clear? Okay. Okay, number two. Robots, robots are sometimes used to perform dangerous tasks. Robots? And robots are sometimes used to performing dangerous no, tasks. No, not to performing. Look, robots are for, for performing. For performing, for, 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 for. Robots are sometimes used for performing dangerous tasks. Okay, very good. Yeah. Number three. Number three, you can use a cell phone to, to read the, la the last weather report. The latest, the latest. Latest, latest, okay. You can use a cell phone for reading the latest weather report. Excellent. Okay, people use the internet to transmit telephone calls. Okay. And people use the internet for transmitting telephone calls. Okay. DNA fingerprint DNA fingerprinting is is used to send text message. No, 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 no. It's used for sending. No, it's used. No. Oh, used to to identify criminals. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. And DNA fingerprints is used for identifying identifying crimi criminals. Criminals. Okay, very good. Okay. Next. See the room are used to to store an encyclopedia. Okay. And see the rooms are used for storing storing an encyclopedia. Okay, very good. That's all. You see, very okay. good. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay. Now, uh, very good. Okay, let me br uh, bring everybody back, okay? Okay.
You are mute. Did you have time to practice, guys? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now, okay. This is on page, on the workbook. This is on page, page uh, 37, okay? A PDA, do you know what is a PDA? Personal Digital Assistant. So a PDA is used for storing addresses and phone numbers. Is that clear? Yes. yes. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, yes. number two, what is a computer used for? For reading. Oh, no, no, no. For Give me the complete sentence, Maria Jose. A computer is used for. Hello. Okay. <laughs> or surfing for surfing on the internet okay now what else is a computer used for uh, ivan what else do you use a computer for i use my computer for paying bills maybe for paying bills okay very good uh, eleonora are you there eleonora yes teacher Aha, uh -huh. what is a computer used for? What do you use a computer for? Uh, a computer is used for me at uh, work. No, for? Yeah. You, you need a verb with ing, Eleonora. Uh, a computer is uh, used for working. A uh -huh. computer is used for working. Working. Okay, yes. now we're going to change uh, Guadalupe. Now I want you to use two. What do you use a computer? A, com a, computer, a computer is used to, to send a message. To send a message, to send emails. Lily, what, a, what is a computer used for? A computer used for... Is used, a computer is used... Is used the computer is used for. No, for um, using to. Ah, uh, used to. Um, to to see the weather. <laughs> to see the weather. Okay, to see the weather. Okay, Jordana, what is a computer used for? Using to. Using infinitive. Computer is used to search the internet. To search in the oh. internet. Okay, what is a robot used to, Cindy? A robot is used to uh, I don't know. <laughs> Okay. To, I want to help you, to, teacher. Uh -huh, to help you. A robot is used to help you around the house. Karen, what is a robot for used for? Karen, Karen Galdames, are you there? Okay. Yes. <laughs> a robot. A robot. Um, the new tenant. Technology. Yes. What is a robot used for? Um, I use to. No, a robot. A, a robot, robot is, is used is for new co new. No, we need a bird with ing. We need a bird with ing. Remember, this is what we've been practicing. A robot are using to for send, to pay or for sending or for paying. So, what is a robot used to? A robot is used to exploring in the space, teacher. Uh, okay, but only to explore oh. or for exploring. Oh, okay. Remember, if I for use to. 
If I use two, only base form. Ah, okay. But if I use four, verb with ah. ing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Thanks. That clear? Yes. Okay. Yes. Again, so tell me. Okay, now everybody uh, here, I want you that you take a look at this satellite, cell phone, and that you do it both ways. A PDA is used for storing addresses and phone numbers. A PDA is used to store addresses and phone numbers. So you do the same thing for computers, for robots, for satellites, and for cell phones. Is that clear? Yes. Using infinities yes. and using your own. Okay? Okay, guys. So it was a pleasure to have you here today. And I hope that you practice using your infinitives and your gerons. All right? Okay. 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 Thank, Thank you for you. your time. And I will see you next. Tomorrow. Week. I will see you tomorrow. Same time. Okay. 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 <laughs> Same time. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Have Thank a you wonderful very much. time. Bye. Okay. Bye. Rest Bye. and see Bye. you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, we will practice more your own and more infinitives, okay? okay. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.